what's going on everybody it is spicy topic so i wanted to do this because it's been on my mind with rob kardashian very briefly i want to say that it came out that china said rob kardashian will not leave the house rob is known to be depressive okay he's he's constantly being called out in articles for being depressive because i'm a woman Look, initially I'm a woman of God. I might do a lot of cussing at times and, I, and this and that. But I know at the end of the day who I am and I know that that's wrong to portray. So forgive me. But I just want to say that Rob needs to find his own identity. You need to follow the path of your father. You, even Kim Kardashian is, is in the system trying to help people free for crying out loud you have a mother that has many many ways of helping you and she's opened up her arms and hands extended to help you i don't understand how you can still be battling this thing you have to fight it beat it and leave it don't come back to it you have to hate depression hate to be sad okay because that's going to keep you away from those demons that want to keep you bound said that black china was with you that night and then she sent you a video of being with another man in bed with your robe on so she blatantly disrespected and dishonored the father of her child who still was very much in love with her and in my opinion you still battle your love for her now i understand that that is something extremely hurtful very very hurtful and you survived it. You have to remember that you survived it. And look at what you did. Maybe you didn't pay attention to the signs that she didn't want to be with you. Maybe you wasn't listening when she made that clear. Maybe you were still trying to pursue her when she told you, I don't want you. This, You're not the only one. You're not the only one. I know many, many guys that do that, that don't hear the signs when a woman don't want you. Just like women. Sometimes don't hear the signs when a man tell you out his mouth. You're not my woman. I don't want you. Ignoring it because they continue to use you for what they can get from you. And to the point where they completely strip you because you allowed them to. You did not move forward and love yourself enough to get out of the situation and stop sweating the person so they can't stand you behind so you have nobody but yourself to blame. But that does not mean stay in a funk of hating yourself. Don't stay in the funk of hating yourself and, and holding yourself hostage. Even she, for her to say that you won't leave the house allegedly, according to that article, says that she cares about you. And I remember she making it very clear when she was with you, even after she broke up, she was still trying to help you, still trying to help you to lose weight because she know that that was healthy for you. But more importantly, because that's what you were wanted, because at the time, that's why you were depressed. Then you've got to stop this depressive demon. You have control over your feelings. Why don't you read the book that that I love? Rhonda Byrne, The Power. She also wrote The Secret. She has a book called The Magic. You don't even have to read it. She has an audible book. You can go on YouTube. You can type Rhonda Byrne, B-Y-R-N-E. I will post a picture. And you, matter of fact, here. And you will see that the book itself, the words itself penetrate you. It, you can feel, you'll feel a change when you hear the words. Just something about the music, something about that auto book will change your life. You can't change how you feel, but you can change the way that you think. And when you change the how you think about it, it will change how you feel. You can't stay in this funk, dude. It's time to get up, stop slouching and slapping around. Stop thinking like that and get something going on for yourself. Other people want to tear you down and laugh at you. I'm not here for that. I don't laugh at people when they're suffering because I know how it feels to be depressed. But me, myself, I don't like being depressed. So so because I don't like it, it can't live in me. I will find ways. I will pray and I will act. I will do what it is healthy so I'm not depressed. Because when you're depressed, then you're going to start feeling neck pains. Me, I always say it all the time. Migraines come. And when you're not depressed next week, you have the body aches. So it's not helpful or it's not healthy to be depressed. Get your behind up, smile, and live. And find something that you can do and do it. Period.